full time West Ham three, Arsenal three. Oh, before I get into this, honestly, I am shaking. There was no match reaction for this game, partly, well, mainly because I finished work at four. I started the game started at three. I saw the goals piling in from notifications. I had a little peek myself and saw some of the goals in that first half an hour was absolutely atrocious from what I've heard. I haven't seen all of it, but for based on what I've seen on Twitter, I spoke to a couple of people at half time when I got out of work at four o'clock. And it was an absolute shit show that first half, but we got that goal back. Full credit today before I go into more negatives, to Callum Chambers, because the, the way that he was whipping balls in today, he was almost our saviour. And Martin Odegaard, please stay at my club, because Martin Odegaard was phenomenal. When when we got going, he was phenomenal. But I wish... Well, I don't wish I would like to talk about the first half an hour of this game, but I didn't really see it. So I can't overanalyze, I can't over-critique because I didn't actually watch it live. I've seen highlights. I've seen, the the first of all, the Lingard first goal, brilliant effort. I didn't see the build-up. I just saw the goal, fantastic strike. Second goal, Bowen. I think that was the one that Leno messed up. And the Antonio goal, I haven't seen. Lacazette's goal, which ends up being a Susek own goal, I haven't actually seen yet. But the um, I came back for the second half, and oh my God, Lacazette. 50 seconds into the second half as the ball cleared off the line. I really had a feeling we'd get something when I was watching this game in the second half because there was little things that were going our way and it wasn't going West Ham's way. and It was a bit of luck of the green at times. But despite the fact that that first half performance was the worst we've been since October, we were shocking. We were shit. We were all these phrases, right? And yet we come back and got a point. For me, the league is done anyway. There was no chance of us getting top four. That was a that was a pipe dream. It's gone. But this brings confidence for me. But what I don't, what only annoying thing about this is why the hell didn't we start like that today? That's the oh, that's the question I've got to ask Mikel Arteta. Playing the Bamiyang on the right and Saka on the left. When Saka plays better on the right, a Bamiyang hasn't played out out wide at all for um, for ages, and he normally plays out on the left. If he was to play out wide, and he plays him out on the right and Saka on the left didn't get it. It took him half an hour to switch it up after being two 0 up, and then the third one went in. I thought that was it. I really thought we couldn't come back, but the boys they persevered. They made the right changes for me. Martinelli probably should have came on a bit sooner um and Bamiang didn't do much today his best contribution was celebrating the equalizer we pushed for a winner it didn't happen overall you have to say a draw is a fair result West Ham won the first half we won the second half but why the hell didn't we start like that today because West Ham very very good team they nearly ripped us. To, they should have ripped us to shreds in that first half, and they did rip us to shreds. We were three 0 down. The match was over, but the boys fought back. We got back. Leno massive let off today because he had a couple clangers today. Louise and Mary at times were comical at the back, but Callum Chambers shout out to him for his whipping crosses were absolutely outstanding. Martin Odegaard when we did get going was absolutely fantastic. And Thomas Partey, I love you, but please stop shooting because you can't do it, bro. You can't, you're brilliant at everything else. Let, just let Onemi do the shooting, please. But as you can tell, I'm very, very flustered because I've rushed home from work to watch that second half. And it was literally that half. That's probably the f fastest game of football I've ever seen. The intensity, the drive. First half, Aubameyang got done for being late to the North London derby. We were 35-ish minutes late today because the last 10 minutes of the second of the first half and the rest of the second half we were great we were brilliant but it took us that it took us to be three nil down to get going so there's a lot to think about here for me the league's done anyway so it wouldn't matter too much of course I would have been pissed off if we lost four or five or six today but we got back we got the point and if you're telling me at half time or when we were three nil down would I take on the point I snap your arm off for it so I'm frustrated for the first half an hour but I'm happy that the boys fought back and got the draw let me know what you think in the comments down below for me my man of the match if it's not Callum Chambers it's got to be Martin Odegaard it's one of the two I'd probably give it to Callum Chambers yes there was a couple of own goals a bit of luck in there but sometimes you create your own luck with the opportunities that you make so 
that's gonna wrap it up here a little fast and quick one for you like this video if you enjoyed subscribe if you're new and i'm off now for a week international break of course we'll be back after the international break and i think we've got liverpool at home so um look out for that one for me these league games are more like pre-season friendlies and if it's gonna be like that one then bloody hell we're in for a massive ride we've got nine games to go I think we're 10 points, 9 points off the top four. It's not going to happen, lads. We're not getting top four. It's still Europa or bust. But blimey, these uh, Arsenal, man, they know how to get the heartstrings going, honestly. I cannot describe. I really thought we were going to win it at the end. We didn't. I'm a bit gutted, but on one reflection, it's a fair result. So, yeah, let me know what you thought in the comments down below. Like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe if you're new. And bloody hell, this team is going to kill me one day. See you guys next time.